Hello and welcome to Not So Awesome Review. And today I'm just showing you guys a little custom I did on my Zeo Ranger figures. And can I kind of tell you how to do it? By kind of, I mean I'm, I'm not great at tutorials, so I'm gonna just wing it here, and you know, hopefully you guys can understand. But yeah, as you guys can see, the entire five Rangers here have been repainted with gold, not just on the you know boots and chest, but the belts and the holsters and everything, all with a nice shiny gold. Now, is it the best perfect job? No, there's actually a little line around here that I probably need to go over uh, some spots that I need to like touch up and probably need to seal up the paint because although it does dry and it dries not sticky in case anyone is wondering it does tend to rub off if you push your finger into it or something it doesn't rub off too much but it it does kind of come off which isn't a bad thing and I'm saying that because if you get some on the actual figure itself, which I've done, including on the white pieces, you can clean it off. Just, uh, you know, wipe it down. If you need to use some water or alcohol, use that. It will come off. So don't worry about, you know, messing up your figure. And I gotta say, I actually really, really like how they came out a lot. I mean, I know I'm the one who did them. Let me, let me see if I can turn down this light a little bit so you guys can see just without so much of a glare. But you can see here... The figures are so much shinier they look so much better especially in the belt thing if you remember uh the way they looked before they had that kind of weird i don't want to say mustard but mustardy gold color as you guys can see from the megazord right there which i have been touching up as well kind of i, I need to fix some of this i don't know if i'm gonna keep the black line that's kind of me just testing that out but yeah it's not as smooth on him and that's probably because it's where i started off you know I experimented with him first and then moved on to these guys and I gotta say it came out really good with them. I did do Gold Ranger as well but because I've tried repainting him before with a different uh, technique and it didn't come out good and I did try sealing it before again it still didn't come out good it was rubbing off way too much it's like I mean like so much that it would stain another figure if it touched it. Uh, his definitely didn't come out as good as the other figures. Um, not too worried about it because I could still try and clean him off better and redo it but I, I might also just buy another one because Gold Ranger because of the color I'm assuming it did not sell well at least at my Walgreens uh, they usually still have a good amount but yeah let me bring Zeo Red closer and let me just fix the autofocus on this you guys can see it is it is a shiny gold it is a nice circle. Now you can see right here, I, I do need to go over it again. I did try and do a wash of a different gold to see if I can get it imprinted on in the uh, in the grooves and stuff. But the grooves are so big that it didn't really want to stick to it as good as I was hoping. That's because in the show, they do have a two-tone gold color going on there. But you can see the belt looks good. The boots, you know, it, it goes on there. It looks good. It dries, like I said. It's not too sticky. My hand does have a little bit of you know gold paint on it because i was just messing with a few other things and yeah so now that we got that back up there i'm going to bring out the megazord right here and i'm going to move the camera so apologies for the movement and stuff and the lighting being kind of off Let's see if i can turn it up you can see i didn't paint this part yet so what i'm using to do this is actually a what's it called 18 karat gold leaf pen by cray craylon right I think that's how you pronounce it uh this i found at my hobby lobby uh they do sell paint markers similar to this at michael's but it's not the same brand and i don't know how that paint is going to work because i'm pretty sure those are enamel based i don't know what this is based off i know that you should do it in a ventilated area it says so on the packaging if it says so that's good enough for me to want to do that but uh it, it's pretty simple if you don't know these are paint pens you can hear the little rattling inside so it's kind of similar to how you would expect a rattle spray can to work so you got to shake it up pretty good first open it up you see the tip here if it gets dirty or anything you can clean it with uh some rubbing alcohol and i'm not going to show you guys this part on camera because i don't have a piece of paper that i could find but what you do, especially when it's brand new after you're done shaking it, you want to push this uh, tip into a piece of paper so you can get the ink flowing. If it starts to dry out while you're painting, you know, shake it again and push it into the thing, which I'm going to do off camera right now, just so I don't have too much. And the reason is if you shake it and you, you know, start pushing it down on the thing, you're going to get an excess amount of paint coming out. 
and it's not going to come out as good. But basically all I'm doing is, see if I can make the right camera angle, push down on that, and getting the inside here is actually a lot harder, but yeah, I'm basically brushing it on like if I was markering it. Uh, if you are better with this, you probably can do it without getting too many streaks. I'm still not great, but uh, I'm sure there's people who, like, when it comes to brushing stuff on, can get things looking nice and smooth, you know, if you know what you're doing. And, uh, you know, feel free to go over it a couple of times with a couple of layers, you know, after it's dried out to kind of fill it in a little bit more. But that's pretty much it. This pen cost me, I think, with the coupon, five bucks without the coupon, it would have been closer to eight, I want to say. And you can see it. It's already looking better. Like I said, it does leave some streaks on smooth surfaces. I'm not too good with it yet, but... It is what it is, and uh, what it is is, I think, a heck of a lot better paint. I can see I already did the fists on here, the horns, the uh, sphinx head. But most importantly, I did the rangers because, I don't know, I've seen a lot of people repaint Gold Ranger. And that's understandable because Gold Ranger, well, he didn't look gold at all. It was actually a massive disappointment with the figures. With the Z01s, I haven't seen... I don't think anybody repaint them. I think everyone was content with them. Don't get me wrong. They did a decent job with the, uh, the little triangle pieces and stuff. They did give it somewhat of a golder shine than the belts and the boots and the arm pieces. But those pieces weren't done nice enough in my opinion. And it always kind of bugged me. So I decided I'm going to try it. And if you ask me, it looks really good. Of course, do this at your own discretion. Don't get mad at me if you mess up. It's, it's you know, arts and crafts. Just try what you can. And, uh, yeah, so, I'm gonna probably, no, actually, there. I was I'm probably gonna put a picture of this up, but I think you guys can see it pretty good here. 18 karat gold leafing pen. And, uh, yeah, so, that's pretty much my video for today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Like I said, I do still need to go over it again in a few places. You can see some of the underneath gold, especially in the upper parts of the uh, chest. It, it's where I'm trying to be the most careful because obviously I don't want to get it onto the figure too much. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below. This was not a review. This was a tutorial slash here you go. Look at this, what I did. <laughs> anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.